at a time when many are working from home. A teacher says he may lose his job for trying to do the same thing. One of his students started an online petition to try to keep him employed. KXAN's education reporter Alex Capriello looks at the fight over flexibility for teachers in our schools. My personal goal was 300 signatures. So. 24 hours later, that number has climbed past 5,000. Our teachers are humans and they, have, they should get the right just as us to keep their families safe. 17-year-old Olivia Navarro says everyone loves Daniel Myers, an English teacher at McCallum High School. He's refused to show up in person this fall, despite the district requiring him to. But he's still teaching virtually. He says he wants to protect his family and is just doing what health leaders are asking everyone to do. You know, we've made a commitment to our community and we're doing what we're asked by staying home when we can, you know, not leaving when we don't have to. Myers would like to see the district switch to a volunteer system. The teachers that want to show up can. Education Austin has proposed a plan for how it might work. But Superintendent Dr. Stephanie Elizalde shut down the idea at the board meeting on Monday. It would be absolute chaos for our students. Myers told me he's almost out of personal and sick days. He hopes the district will allow him to continue teaching virtually without penalty. Teachers are conditioned to, to roll over a lot and to just accept things. And, you know, I don't, I don't want to do that. What I want to do is teach my kids, you know, watch them grow and learn. Like, I'm not here trying to, like, be a martyr or, like, get in some fight with TEA. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. We reached out to AISD tonight specifically about Meyer's case. We wanted to know what options are available to him and how HR is handling the case. We haven't heard back. AISD has granted more than 700 medical accommodations to staff so far this fall.